Hukum State Lake. Ya. So, so before before we start the session, I would like to ask some of my students to introduce themselves. So after that, uh, your students can also introduce themselves. All right. Yeah. So Jagadish, Jagadish, try to introduce yourself first. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hello, sir. Hi. My name is Gatish Jagadish. My hobbies are reading books, playing games, and watching TV. My future ambition is to become an army person. Okay, Jagadish. Uh, yes, who is going to introduce? Yeah, Ram Kumar. It's your turn. Okay, see. Yeah. Yes, go ahead. Go ahead and introduce. Nagasri. Yes, sir. Hmm. Hi, sir. My name is Sai Nagasri. I am studying sixth grade. My hobbies are reading books, playing games, and watching TV. My life ambition is to become a software engineer. Okay. Thank you, Rayana. Thank you. Kusma. Kusma, it's your turn. Yes, sir. Hi, Hi sir. My name is Kusma Sri. Hi. I am studying. Hi. My name is Kusma Sri. I am studying Sandha class. My hobbies are reading books, playing chess, and watching TV. My life ambition to become a bank manager. Bank manager. That's lovely. That's lovely. Okay. Uh, next, uh, who is going to introduce? Loshna. Loshna, would you like to introduce? Samira, you also get yes. it. Samira. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Loshna, go, go ahead. Introduce. Hi, sir. My name, Hi, sir. My name is Loshna. I am studying 8th grade. Uh, my, uh, my hobbies are reading books, playing games, and watching TV. Uh, my life ambition is uh, English teacher. Okay. Next, uh, Samira. Hi, sir. My name is Samira Khanam. I'm studying seventh class. I'm from Velaturu. My hobby is reading books, watching movies, and playing games. And my life ambition is to become a doctor. A medical doctor. That's lovely. Nice meeting you. Thank you, sir. So, Neeraja. Neeraja, it's your turn. Hello, sir. Neeraja, go ahead. I am Neeraja. I am studying 10th grade. My hobbies are playing games and watching TV. My future ambition is to become a nurse. A nurse. That's good. That's good. Okay, and so my dear friend, I think we have many students. Uh, if you check, yes, 26 students have attended today. Actually, I promised you uh, around 25, but now uh, 26 students almost have attended this session. And uh, so they are so excited uh, to see your students' introduction. So would you allow your students to introduce themselves? All right. Can we introduce ourselves one after the other? Let's do that first. My name is Bakke Bilyatsuko. I'm from the Bode Grammar School. My hobbies are playing games, watching movies, and um, reading story books. My future ambition is to become a mechanical oh. engineer. Yeah. Could you could you please could you please raise your voice because your students' voice is too low to understand. Uh, my dear friend, please ask them to raise their voice uh, a bit high so that uh, we can understand. Speak out. Try to speak out. Next. <laughs> my name is Odugar Felix. I'm from Nigeria. I'm from the Upper Gamma School. My first ambition is to become a medical science. So, well done. My, doctor, my, my hobby is reading story books, watching movies, and playing. Right. Very good. So yeah. Any more students? Yes, yes. Yes, of course, sir. My name is Baluk Nui. I'm from Nigeria. I'm from Jabodu Gansu. My future ambition is to become a mechanical engineer. Well. My future ambition. Actually, it's a mechanical engineer. My hobby. 
My hobby is to be watching film. You like watching film and sleeping. Ah, <laughs> that's lovely. <laughs> so, what, my dear friend, what is his, what are his hobbies? Can you can you repeat those hobbies again? That that is powerful. <laughs> watching movie, sleeping. Okay, okay. Yes, yes, yes. Let's have one to this side. Mm-hmm. Hi. Hi. My name is Daniela. My hobbies are playing soccer and reading. I want to be in future. My future ambition is to be a software developer. A software developer. Oh, that's yeah. lovely. Yeah, <laughs> that's really lovely. So, any more? Mm-hmm. Any more participants? My name is Balu Gumas. I'm a Nigerian from Jebe Grammar School. My hobbies are reading, watching television, and operating the computer system, and my future ambition is to become an electrical engineer. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. So, any more participants from your side, my dear friend? No, we are. That's just the few yeah. students I have here. Yeah. Just that's, the yeah, that's great. I can understand. So, uh, now we can uh, make our students interact with one another. Mm, I would like to ask uh, one of my students to ask uh, their questions. Uh, his or her question, actually. Lohita, are you ready to ask a question to our Nigerian yeah. friends? Yeah. Is speaking English compulsory for your students? Listen to the question. Lohita, Lohita, ask one more time. Okay, sir. Is speaking English compulsory for your students? Yes. 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 English language is our official language here in Nigeria. Even mm-hmm. though we have different tribes mm-hmm. in Nigeria with different uh, languages and ethnic uh, dialects, right. but English language is the official language in Nigeria. Thank mm-hmm. you. Okay, so Lohita, Lohita, you same time you try to explain to them uh, what are the languages that you learn at school. Explain to them clearly. So, so explain to your Nigerian friends uh, about the languages that you learn at your school. Okay, sir. I am learning at school languages of Telugu, English. Ex- explain, and explain what is Telugu, what is Hindi. You explain clearly. Hmm. Telugu is my, our mother tongue. Hindi is our national language and English our international language. So you you learn three languages at your school. Yeah. So, so Ari, I mean English language is also your international language there. Yeah, yeah. It's a uh, it's actually third language. As a third language, all my students learn it. So three languages are actually compulsory here. So one is our mother tongue, another one is our national language. Most of the Indians, they speak Hindi as the national language. So we have to learn it. So third one is international language, English. English is also compulsory for my students. All right, that's yeah. great. That yeah. Be- yeah. So Neeraja, go ahead and ask the question. How many languages? How many languages can your students speak? All right. How many languages can you speak? Two. Two. Mm-hmm. So, what are those languages? What are the two languages? English and Yoruba language. Yoruba is our mother tongue. Right. So, any more questions? Harry, can I come in? Yes, please. I would like to communicate with the students. Yes, please. Go ahead. Just like my own student just talked about two languages they are used to hear. Uh. Yoruba language, that is an ethnic language, the mother tongue. Mm-hmm. And English language in the official language or the international language. Mm. Here in Nigeria, all the subjects that the students offer, mm are taken in the international language, English language. Mm-hmm. How is it in your place? How is it there in India? 
okay uh, so you mean that uh, um is english treated as international language is english treated as a is third language or second language in india that is what your question am i right my question my yeah. question again yeah, yeah. so uh, but in your country you are saying that uh, english is an international language maybe a foreign mm -hmm. language i think you, you treat it as a foreign language but in the case of uh, uh, india we in fact uh, treat english is uh, like our mother tongue so some parents they give the highest priority for the english language rather than their mother tongue so wow. that's why most of the uh, in our state in our state if you take our state into account most of the schools have recently been uh, transformed into the english medium schools rather than our mother tongue based schools so you can understand the parents are giving the too much priority for the english language they think that english is the a language uh, with the help of this language their children can survive across the globe so that's why they are sending their children to the english medium schools rather than the um, regional language schools yeah mm. so thank you yeah so yes who is going to ask the question now Sir, can i ask yes. Yes, Kaushik, go ahead. Hello, sir. My name is Kaushik. My house is a little bit playing and watching TV. My future is to become a police officer. What kind of technology is used in your classroom? Repeat yourself. What kind of technology is used in your classroom? What type of technology is used in our classroom? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. yes. That's, that's great. Let me start the, to answer the question and I'll, I'll allow the student to also add. Here, initially we use the traditional methods for the teaching, but the help of Microsoft Educator Community and Center has helped us in exposing our students to integrating technology into the classroom. And that is a reason why we have this kind of session that we are into now. So with the help of the uh, transformation, we can, our students are now being exposed to more of the use of these tools by Microsoft. And I think that is the essence for this meeting. Mm -hmm. So I would like to allow the students to, to add one or two things. But as we can see my students around, they can well operate the computer system. They can use most of these application packages from Microsoft. Talk about Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint, mm -hmm. Access, so they can use it. In fact, they do exam just like yesterday, I told you that they were writing practical exam. Yesterday, I told you that, which I was there with them. So we appreciate the efforts made by Microsoft so far, and it has really been helpful to us in Nigeria. Yeah, uh, so what I understood that uh, Microsoft Educator Community and uh, Microsoft itself, uh, I think yes. is helping your uh, children a lot in uh, improving their uh, uh, communicative skills as well as the technology in your classroom. So, I think you are very lucky enough to make use of those services. Um, we are really proud of your students. And you are saying that your students are very good at the technology, using the technology. So, yeah, we really appreciate you and your students for their excellence in using the technology. But unfortunately, in my classroom, in this province of India, we don't provide any computer-based knowledge to our students due to some aspects. So unfortunately, and most of my students end up their studies and leaving their schools without having a basic computer knowledge. So uh, that is the uh, one of the disadvantages that uh, my students are experiencing these days. So maybe probably in the future, uh, they might have, uh, um, they might uh, uh, 
uh, get this uh, kind of uh, opportunity that your students are getting right now uh, through the Microsoft platform. So uh, we will think of it uh, definitely if there it, if it is possible uh, in our schools to implement it. Yeah. So yes, next anybody from our side? Sir, can I ask? Sir, can I? Yes, Sir, can I ask? Uh, yes, Ram Kumar. Uh, Abarshita, you can ask. Uh, let us give the chance to Ram Kumar, newcomer. Yes, Ram Kumar, go ahead. Okay, sir. Hi, sir. Hi. My name is Ram Kumar. I am studying eighth class. My hobbies are reading books, playing games, and singing songs. My life ambition is to be a cricketer. How, how many subjects your students learn in their schools? Wow, that's great. That's great. To answer that, uh, the section of uh, uh, education that we are operating here, mm. we are in upper grade. My students are in upper grade. And that is uh, grade 10, 11, 12. Mm. And the way we operate our education uh, instruction here, once a student is in grade 9, 10, uh, 10, 11, 12, the student is able to determine the department, those subjects that will assist him or her in achieving his future ambition or her future ambition. So yeah. as a result, my student, based on their department, they choose their subjects. Mm -hmm. Like we have those in sciences. Mm -hmm. Even in the sciences, we have those in engineering, those in medicals. So as a result, we have little differences in the subjects that they mm -hmm. offer. Mm -hmm. Now from sciences, we can go to uh, commercial or business. Mm -hmm. Those that are interested in becoming state banker and mm -hmm. accountant and, and the rest, they too, they have their own subjects. But in the policy of Nigerian education, mm. the student must offer at least eight subjects. Mm -hmm. At least eight subjects. At least subjects. Mm. Mm. What are they? What are those eight subjects? Thank you. For the sciences. Mm. Sciences. For the, sci mm. for the mm. sciences. We have English mm. language, mm. that's number one, as the international mm. language, mm. mathematics. Mm. We have civic education. Mm -hmm. That's teaching the student about morals. Mm. Yes. Uh, we, have, we have computer. Mm. We have computer. Mm. We have what we call trade subject, something mm. that can give the student hand on skills. Mm. We call it trade subject. So yeah. for the science, the trade subject they do is animal husbandry, how to rear animals. Mm. So we show the students how to go into animal rearing be it piggery, fishery, and the rest. So mm -hmm. now I've mentioned five. Mm. So the, the remaining three or four will now determine their core departments. Yeah. For the sciences now, they mm. have physics, mm. chemistry, biology. biology. So like the engineering student now, they add TD to it. We call it technical drawing. That mm. will not make it nice for them. Just like I said that they offer at least eight. Mm. But the technology student, they will add TD. Technology student or engineering student, they will add TD mm. or further mass. Mm. There is also a subject we call further mathematics. That is a bit advanced to ordinary mathematics. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that is how they make their eight or nine subject for the sciences. But yeah. for the commercial students mm. or the business student, for the business students, they also offer English, mass. Mm. civic education, computer, mm. Mm. trade subjects. Their mm. own trade subject is marketing. Mm -hmm. How they can market maybe mm. their business, they can market their products and what have you, mm. be it offline or online. Mm. So they teach them that. So to their core subject, there they now have financial accounting, mm -hmm. commerce, mm. government, right? Mm. Uh -huh. And to some, they can now add what we call office practice, meaning that those of them that mm. are to work in the office, how can they practice their office while they are in the school? So they call that subject office practice. So that right. is to, to some that are most interested in working in the office. 
So I must say that the Indian uh, education system uh, and the present uh, education system prevailing in my province uh, is a lot more different from what you have. And uh, I'm, I'm actually, I'm so, uh, I think uh, I have to appreciate your education system uh, for uh, two reasons. One is uh, your government itself has taken the initiative of introducing different types of curriculum and for sciences as well as non-sciences and those who are interested in sciences they have a separate curriculum those who are not interested in sciences they have a separate curriculum so i think this kind of categorization the division definitely helps the students to maybe to groom themselves as a different professionals but unfortunately, we don't have that kind of system in our uh, education uh, uh, curriculum. So that's why most of the students, they have to learn the same traditional subjects, uh, no matter whether they are interested or not interested, they have to study those subjects and they have to pass the examination. And at the end of the day, uh, they have to go again for, uh, uh, for uh, some other uh, um, professional courses on completion of their graduation but in the case of your nigerian education system i think you have introduced a very sophisticated system right from the schooling so this is something i like it so much and so we have to take a leaf out of your system i think it's a good system that you have been following in your country i like it so much uh, so, uh, Ram Kumar, Ram Kumar, I think you have asked uh, uh, the subjects uh, that uh, Nigerian students learn at school. No? But what about the subjects uh, that you learn at your school? Can you explain to them in detail? Telugu. Yes, Hindi. yes Telugu, Hindi, English. These are the three languages. These are the three languages. So other Science. than this, yeah, I, other than these three languages, what are the core subjects that you learn along with these three sub languages? Core subjects, explain. Science. Uh, science. Physical science or natural science, you have to explain both. Seventh uh, natural science. Uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh. Uh, social. Mm. Social studies. Max. Mm. Mathematics. Math. Max. Mm. Mm. So, my dear friend, uh, in uh, Indian uh, education system, uh, so we have uh, um, other uh, core subjects uh, along with the three languages. As we have already mentioned that we have to learn three languages. One is our mother tongue, uh, another one is our national language, third one is international language. In addition to these three languages, we have to learn the core subjects like math, science, social studies. So these are the three core subjects that we have to learn as a part of our curriculum. Uh, so it is quite uh, mandatory for every student uh, to get the pass marks in these subjects in order to leave the school uh, in the uh, 10th grade. I think 10th grade is the, the last grade uh, in our school system. So, yeah, Samira, do you have any question? Uh, Varshita, 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 I, I'll come back to you. Varshita, do you have any question? Varshita, are you there? Varshita is not responding. Can anybody ask the question now? Sir, can I ask? Yes, yes, Nagasri. Hi, sir. My name is Sai Nagasri. I'm studying sixth grade. My hobbies are reading books, playing games, and watching TV. My life ambition is to become a software engineer. Now I want to ask you one question. That question is, how many languages are your students are studying? How many languages are you offering? I am not so, my dear friend, her question is actually, uh, Sai Nagasri, uh, our Nigerian friends have already answered to this particular question. Uh, so, 
you i think you better to ask another question so my dear friend can you re- can you repeat the answer again because she asked the, the same question one more time sorry so how many yeah. language yeah how many languages uh, do your students what learn at school what happen is i'm getting something from you now mm. just like i said yeah concerning k12 education mm. i perceive this your students there now they mm. are in k9 10 and 11 mm. abi i is that is that correct yeah these students uh, uh, who are uh, right now are actually from some are some of them are the 6th graders some of them are 7th graders some are 8th some are 9th some are 10th graders so it's a multi uh, classroom so almost all the students belonging to the different classes are also here um so in our uh, secondary school uh, we have the grades uh, 6th 7th 8th 9th 10th i mean five grades are there in our school system okay. starting from 6th to 10th 10th is the last one i think 10th uh, uh, graders have to take the mandatory examination and uh, in this examination they have to qualify uh, i mean with the pass marks otherwise uh, they won't get uh, uh any uh, acceptance uh, if they want to join uh, professional course uh, after leaving the school okay so also here we have grade 789 mm in the grade 789 mm they also offer english mathematics social studies mm um, Science. basic science or we call it basic science and technology that mm. is where we bring in technology with sciences together that is why we call it basic science and technology we mm. have business studies just mm. to prepare the students for business just like i mentioned earlier so there all the students we offer all those subjects mm. but when our students now come to level a uh, grade 10 mm. we don't ask them to choose which section do they prefer mm. would they prefer science mm. would they prefer business mm. would they prefer humanities mhm mhm mm. you understand now so mm. my students there they are in that level yes they already have, they already have lived that grade yeah 7 9 we are they offer social studies this and that they are now at the level where they choose the department yeah they will favor their professionalism just like you mentioned mm. so that is their own level so at this their level they only offer english language mm. being the international language mm. for for the student in humanities is there any one student here no so unfortunately i'm not having any humanities student here mm. let's assume we have A student in humanities say this mm. term was offered to Yoruba which is our own local language mm. but for the sciences mm. they don't need to offer their local language what they only need is international mm. language which is mm. basically for their interaction with mm. other people eat within the country or outside the country yeah absolutely so that is that is the issue of the language why some we say two and some we say one mm-hmm. yeah. so my dear friend we have uh, uh, seven minutes time is left i think still uh, you we can allow our students to interact with one another so yes. do you do your students have any questions in their mind to ask my students especially do you have any person want to ask any person you don't have any question you don't want to know about india you can't ask questions about india is it the culture you want to ask about is it <laughs> ask question now this is an opportunity for you to ask question uh, students so i have someone here that yes 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 please yes yes ask uh, give the, give him the chance uh, how can you tell uh, us about your culture your culture 
and how does your culture go on and how do you perform like maybe your language how many language you have in your own country and how what about your food okay the way of your life the way of life yeah okay we got it this yeah so uh my dear students uh, our nigerian uh, uh, student has asked uh, uh, one question and uh, how is the food so what kind what sort of food that we take and uh, if you have any idea you can also share the, our culture and tradition and especially the marriage he has also asked about the marriage i think uh, so uh, can anybody share the, about the indian food uh, yes can i expect uh, uh, from anyone to share the indian food samira would you like to share the, the indian food ट्रेडिशंस एंड सो वाट कैंड ऑफ क्लोथ डू और इंडियन वेर एंड वाट कैंड ऑफ आउटफिट्स एस्पेशली वी पुट ऑन सो वुड लाइक टू ब्रीफ ए लिटिल बिट अबउट अवर क्लोथिंग Yes, yes. Who is who is who is responding now? Who is responding? Sir, can I tell? Yes, yes. Now, Sai Nagasri, go ahead. In India, we will we will we will wear clothes like the sarees, chudi chudidars. So, can you show can you show the saree and chudidar to our Nigerian uh, friends because they are not aware of our uh, costumes and uh, our uh, clothes. and if you are able to show them uh, your clothes or maybe you can just show your uh, costume right now what you are wearing right now and if you have any sarees you can also show can you show can you show a little bit about yes, yes please so it seems it, it, she is going to share uh, a few things about our clothing of course uh, she is now getting ready to show and uh, students if you have anything to share uh, regarding uh, our uh, tradition and culture and the significant uh, culture that indians follow is uh, the yes that girl is showing you so uh, that girl is showing the saree so that the indian women especially married women uh, of course unmarried also they wear and married women they love to wear the saree because it is a part of our uh, custom and tradition and the culture let, uh, let us show us again let us show us again yeah so sorry rayan show us again show us yeah again. nagasri nagasri could you please show it one more time the saree that you have just showed Nagasri, show it one more time. Sir, can I show? Yes, yes. That's good. What is the name? So that is the sari, sari. That is what we call it, sari. The woman wow. exclusive wear is called sari. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yes. So, for 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 the women, right? Yeah. For for women, uh, they wear the sari. For men, as usual, I think they wear pants and shorts, just like uh, you guys in Nigeria wear. So not exclusive costumes for uh, men, but the women, I think the exclusive costume is uh, sari. Samira is showing us one. Let's see. Oh, Samira. Samira. Let's see from you. Yeah, Samira. Yes, she is showing. She is showing. Uh, one one. Thing. Yeah, Samira. Are you Are you showing? Uh, hold it for us. Let's see. 
So Samira, only one minute time is left. So you have to show it as fast as you can. So yeah, yeah, that that's the sari. That's the sari she is showing right now. Okay. So friends, are you able to see friend and the students? Yeah. So thank you so much, uh, my dear friend, and you were fantastic students uh, for sparing your valuable time and uh, for uh, wonderful interaction with my students. And we really thoroughly enjoyed the session so much. Thanks to your uh, students' enthusiasm and uh, especially to you actually actually we were supposed to organize this session yesterday but due to some technical reasons uh, we had to postpone it so thank you so much one more time and for uh, being with us thank you. yeah thank, thank you, you. Yeah, thank you sir thank you sir yeah, thank, thank you sir thank you sir bye thank you sir bye bye Bye.